Today we're basically going to be covering the just the main differences between Sales Navigator, um, Apollo.io, which we have right here, Uplead, Zoom Info, and another one that I came across as well, which is Lead Euro. So, Lead Euro is not a platform that I've heard of before, but um, I, I do forecast that like within the upcoming months to the next two years, you're going to have a lot of these Sales Navigator competitors pop up. So like. Apollo competitors, Sales Navigator competitors, Uplead competitors, Zoom Info competitors, etc. Why? Because this type of SaaS app is essentially the easiest SaaS to build. It's it's a, it's a database. Like the the user interface and the UI aspect of it, it's super easy to build, super easy to code. You can even build it with no code tools like Bubble. So it's a very 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 easy platform to build when you think about it in relation to like let's say uh, another SaaS app so like a uh, project management tool or anything of that sort even those are easy and buildable with no code tools like bubble but the one that's the easiest to bring to the market is essentially a b2b database because it's very easy to create something and then just take it directly to the market and say that this can help you generate 10x more sales within the upcoming three months all for the price of 99 bucks per month and within this database you'll have your necessary emails your necessary phone numbers etc so considering that um you will have a lot of companies like lead Euro pop up but briefly put so if you were to compare like let's say sales navigator to apollo.io to uplead etc do i think that sales navigator is worth it um yes and no no from the aspect of that sales navigator doesn't provide you with emails it only provides you with uh linkedin profiles and in some cases i think phone numbers as well even though like i sincerely doubt it like if we check this lead uh, do we have contact info we have no phone number we have no email address either so that's one of the biggest issues with sales navigator it provides a lot of linkedin data but it doesn't really provide the um the emails and the phone numbers which of course you can obtain by enriching the social profiles through let's say snobs uh social finder for instance you just like upload the uh, url uh, directly into snob and it spits out the email and phone number if it has it right but um considering sales nav's price at the end of the day when compared to something like apollo.io right the amount of data that you're getting is significantly higher as opposed to just sales navigator because through apollo.io you're getting uh linkedins right you're getting phone numbers as well but in order to get the phone numbers you need to basically add it to a list and export like if we click here if we click on access email you'll see that it gives you the email and then you get the phone numbers as well so for i think less right uh, what's the cost here um for like for i think apollo's 49 if i'm not mistaken so it's right here basic 49. um zoom info on the other side like i know that zoom info went public recently so like they hit the stock market etc and i even watched a uh, interview with their ceo henry i keep forgetting his surname and they're doing a pretty good job as a company but their level their pricing so their pricing in relation to what you get right with the available individuals or with the available companies right now on the market it just like really doesn't make sense at the end of the day and plus i've also heard that their data is mediocre to say the least so if you're paying i think it's 20k per year i might be wrong um zoom in for if you're paying 20k a year and you're getting mediocre data when you have something like apollo.io that's around and the the pricing is like 49 49 dollars per month right annually you'd be giving 500 bucks per month essentially right and you're getting data that's superior to zoom info and is updated more like regularly it just it doesn't make sense so I mean, all in all, in my own perspective, right, as to whether I prefer Apollo, Uplead, or Zoom Info, or SalesNav, generally I like to work with a combination of all because let's say if you can't find some data on Apollo.io, right, then you can check Uplead. If you can't find some data on Uplead, then you use Sales Navigator. So my like approach has been more of a mix and match, and it's been like this with all tools because 
it's pretty hard to find one single thing that solves the problem entirely, right? Especially in marketing, especially in growth hacking, etc. Usually it's a careful combination of several tools, several platforms and several things. And what this does is it gives you the ability to basically compile a custom solution, which you can basically utilize over time. Like let's say um, back when LinkedIn automation used to work in a certain way, it was a combination of certain tools, a combination of certain tactics and strategies that allowed us to basically automate in a scalable way. The exact same thing applies to data collection and data enrichment. Now within the growth hacking bootcamp, um, we do have a method for, let's say even if you're on basic, right? We have a method that shows you how to collect infinite number of leads from Apollo.io, regardless of even, even if you're on the free package itself. And it's generally through a combination of these scrapes and data collection methods that we basically collect a lot of the data from a lot of these different platforms. So whether it's from, uh, let's say Shopify stores on Uplead and then uh, CEOs of Shopify stores on Apollo, we collect them and then we enrich basically through something like Hunter.io. Now, <clears throat> The main thing is, right, with these platforms, again, they charge you like primarily on the credits. So how many emails you want to get essentially. So for every single email, that's, yeah, I think every single email is one credit. Every single enrichment is one credit at the end of the day. So they make money directly off the enrichment itself. And in some cases, right, so like if you just look at like thousand credits monthly, whereas if you go on hunter.io, for example, I just want to like check if it like even makes sense. If you go on hunter.io and you pay verifications per month, you pay $200 per month, right? You get 20,000 verifications and 10,000 enrichment basically search is enrichment as far as i know so 10,000 searches right and then here for uplead for 399 you get a thousand credits monthly and then additional credits at 0 0.40 cents basically what i'm trying to say is it makes no sense to rely purely on databases like uplead and apollo just based on their pricing structure what actually makes sense is signing up to these platforms, collecting the data with regards to the first name, last name, and company name, right? Scraping it en masse, so like on a massive scale through tools like Octoparse and Parse Hub. We have a bunch of guides on the Growth Hacking Bootcamp with regards to how to set these scrapes up directly from these platforms. Taking that data and then bringing the data to API providers, not even API providers, just enrichment providers like Hunter.io, Snov.io, Snovio, Snov.io, etc. Enriching the data from there and plugging it directly into your email campaigns or your LinkedIn automation campaigns or whatever you want to call it. That makes sense. Relying primarily on these tools and paying like an elite package of $5.99 per month, unless you're, I don't know, you're running like a, a biz dev office, it like legit doesn't make sense. But the tools all in all are good. Like my favorite like base one is Apollo.io, but to rely primarily on Apollo.io just doesn't make sense. So compilation of all tools, um, as well as, you know, taking your enrichment into your own hands at the end of the day, it's just gonna be a lot cheaper for you and you're gonna have a lot more flexibility. Uh, using tools like Hunter.io and Snuff, and I think generally, like briefly put, that's, um, that's basically the way to go. Um, thank you very much, guys. And uh, yeah, uh, if you wanna join our Growth Hacking Bootcamp, link is in the description. If you wanna join our Growth Hacking Community as well, link is in the description. I'll catch you guys on the next one.